All right, what's up, guys? So this video is about end phase. Um, Brian C asked me about the end phase uh, podcast, uh, and I, I just want to say I, I didn't actually enter a position at that time because I didn't have uh, liquidity. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not actually in the position right now, but I am uh, looking to buy it. As you can see here, it's in my shopping list in Trading View. Um, maybe I should do a video on a shopping list. Uh, so uh, my my thesis for end phase was that uh, they were they had less uh, earnings and revenue in the past and they were valued at a higher price uh, right here you can see that uh, they had 1.25 billion earnings and 634 million in revenue and they were valued around uh, 240 to uh, 300 and as you can see here uh, two quarters later they were they had 1.37 billion in earnings and 700 726 million in revenue and they got downgraded and they are now below 160 something uh well they were below that and uh, now they are back up to 179 my thesis was that it would go back to 200. um so uh, just a revision on that uh do i think it's still possible that it would go back to 200. Um, i think it's possible uh but um just looking at entries right now uh Real quick, I, I just I might want to get in at one sixty nine, but <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if it'll get there. Uh, the reason I wasn't in end phase before was that uh, I, I I thought that solar was gonna be replaced by another technology. Um, I I did study in solar, but uh, I I wasn't uh, an expert on it, and yeah, so. I'm not sure that will happen anytime soon. It could be another te five, ten years, so there is still time to invest. Um, right. So another reason is that I I never uh, I never had solar in my house, so I, I don't know how that things how that how those uh, installation installations work, and I don't know if they are actually cost effective. I watched a Jerry Rick everything video, and he said that it wasn't cost effective after five years. But that could vary depending on the solar installation you use, and he wasn't using he wasn't using an end phase um, installation. So yeah, let's look at the chart right now. Uh, we're back to the one hour. Uh, it looks like there is sort of a divergence here. Um, so it's towards the upside, which means it's bullish. And it seems like from the news, uh, they are trying to expand to other uh, regions, which is a good thing because if you look at their financials, they're quite um, sort of uh, more US focused. So that could be a good thing. Uh, they are basically following uh, Solar Edge in that footstep. And yeah, so I, I think I might start a position right now. Uh, the Fed did just say that they might raise the rates again in the next two FOMC meetings. And I'm not really sure how they'll affect solar. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, Brian C asked me for entries. Um, I, I'm not qualified to give you that advice. But if we look at the support levels here, um, right here, I found one at uh, 175. And another one at uh, 170. So I could set two entries here, uh, one at 175 and one at 170. Uh, so yeah, that's what I think. Um, I don't think it'll drop back down to the low of the low of 153. Uh, I, I, again, I might be wrong there, but that's just I, I don't see that happening. Um, okay, let's look at the Fibonacci sort of right. Okay, so Fibonacci is don't really tell us anything other than, uh, okay, now, uh, 170 and 175 seems to be a uh, great support. So there are 0 0.5 and 0 0.382 uh, Fibonacci levels, which is a sort of a more reliable support level. And uh, if we sort of minimize this more, um, yeah, we're starting to see that uh, this is a sort of a less um, support level and 175 seems to be a more reliable one um, 
So yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna have entries at 170 and 175. Uh, hopefully, it will go back up to 200, or even if it hits like 190, I'll relook at the stock. And this is gonna be a trade for me. Um, so I might trade in and out. Uh, which uh, if if you want to invest, that's fine. Uh, but this likely would be a trade for me, uh, unless I see you know a long term potential for it. Um, so yeah, that's my video for uh brian c uh brian c here yeah thanks for the comment uh hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video if you watched it uh have a nice day guys